Anyway, what? I know you both watched the new Crow trailer that came out oh, yeah. last week, and I made that watch along available on Dudesy Plus at patreon.com slash dudesy. Now that you've had a few days to let it sink in, let me hear your thoughts on the new Crow trailer. This is new Crow good to go or new Crow status quo? Caw, caw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the new Crow trailer. We watched I, it on yeah, uh, on I, Patreon. I've rewatched it a couple of times Go to patreon.com slash dudesy, and you can see us. <sighs> our reaction to seeing it for the very first time. Yeah. I don't think it exists. The new crow doesn't. Fuck, I wish it didn't exist, dude. Oh, come on. Why? What's wrong with it? I don't know. It's just not the crow. It, I mean, we talked about this a little bit as we were watching it. The plot is different than the crow. It looks like they're shoehorning in some kind of like, the crow's got to take down this big crime syndicate, which was never what the comic book was about. It wasn't even really what the original movie was it's about. It's revenge. Yeah. It's just pure blood vengeance revenge. Yeah. Which is what makes The Crow pretty hardcore. I do like that yeah. about The Crow that we've come to know and love. And the original one was just like, it was groundbreaking. You know, speaking of like computer graphics and shit like that, after Brandon Lee died in the shooting of it, that movie was one of the first ones that used a computer to replace the actor in a couple of shots. I they, did not know that. Yeah. Um, so there was that. Alex Preuss directed that one. I it's think it was super probably, just a, probably just a, a double, a stunt double, photo double. No, dude. Look it up. You look it up. Why don't you tell me? I think you're I making it up. that up I too. I did tell you. I remember when it was you happening. Made, first, you made up this AGI, and now you're talking about- Oh, my about, God. You're introducing, uh, you're pretending there's new generals. It's not really gothic. I mean, we talked about this when we saw it. It's like kind of brightly colored. It's more of an action movie. It's more of like a studio comic book movie that they're trying to launch a franchise with. Like the original Crow, without that movie, like I don't, it influenced so many other movies. I don't think there's a Matrix without that Crow. The, their, it was so influential on that. The style, the way they shot it. Yeah. The crow. So influential on Blade. Yeah. Um, all of that kind of stuff. The like black patent leather, you know, kick-ass machine. Yeah. But also just like how dark that first movie was. It's like, if I remember right, the the first one, everything takes place at night. You, you don't get a scene that's out of night. That's it's, a good point. It's all just like black, bleak, dark, gothic. Yeah. This trailer, there's plenty of scenes that are like in broad daylight and they're just fucking walking around and shit. Um, it, I don't know. It just doesn't have that same tone. And I know there's been a lot of backlash online. People don't like this fucking trailer. It's, it's getting very it really? negative response. Yeah. See, I don't fucking know. And it's even, even though I happen to be, um, I don't know if you know this about me. I'm a professional actor by trade. That's what I do for a living. I did know that. Yeah. And you know, I kind of felt like, well, some, I can't tell from a fucking trailer. Now yeah. dudesy had us watch this trailer on Patreon. And, uh, I did notice that that, or no, I said it was the, during uh, everything's in the dark and you said, mm -hmm. no, there's a couple daytime things. And you know, maybe they had a short schedule, although they have a scars guard. We need a scars guard. Yeah. Bill scars guard, dude. That's he, who's he in it. He looks like he may be an okay Eric Draven, but also his hair is fucked up. Like it just doesn't. Uh, it's not fucked up. It's a mullet. No, but like the crow is, I don't know how to put it. It's like his hairdo is is a part of the character. It'd be part like of having a Batman suit right. that didn't have the Batman logo on well, it. Well, he's you know? got the sort of look like it's sort of like the Joker. He's got some prison yeah. tats and shit like that. It's sort of a cross between the crow and Machine Gun Kelly. It's for the yeah. kids. Yeah. So uh, maybe the crow will come out with a new song or something like that or start dating... Um, uh, a starlet like uh, yeah. Megan Fox. He, well, he was a, a musician, Eric Draven. The Crow, that yeah. Character. Eric Draven was a, was a musician. Yeah. I, uh, I don't, um, look, there's a lot of Crow mythos mm -hmm. uh, woven into to Dudesy. We're always doing the Crow thing and Robert De Niro yeah. Crow and there's Crow this and Crow that and Crowetry. Uh, but, you know, uh, yeah, I'm going to, we're both going to fucking see it. Oh, 100%. There's, any crow thing that ever gets made until I die, I'll see. Yeah. You've got my money there. I'm not I'm not saying I wouldn't see this movie. I just think it's going to be, based on the trailer, which tells you almost the entire movie, I think it's going to be underwhelming. And I don't think it's going to have that. There was just something about the original Brandon Lee Alex Proyas one. It, it captured a tone. It came out at the right moment in the mid-90s and everything. And I, you know, for for all of its shortcomings, and it did have some, I think that it captured the spirit of the comic book very well. This one, I don't think does. And I don't it's, think, yeah, I think that was conscious. I don't think kids care about comic books now. 
But the thing that made that comic book good was the the tone of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you don't take the best thing from the comic book to make this version of it, like then why even call it the crow? Mm-hmm. Everything old is new again. And I'm not saying I don't want to talk about this. I certainly don't want to, you know, piss D off and then, uh-oh, I won't get the 10 yeah. pounds of nickel. But, uh, you know, um, speaking of everything old is new again, come on. I mean, you know. Do you know what I'm going to say? I mean, I, I have one guess that I think is probably pretty accurate. What? That's something about The Rock. That's right. You know, The Rock... <laughs> The Rock is heel rock now. They even changed yeah. his fucking theme song. It's more oh, like okay. a theme song that he had right when he yeah. left the Nation of Domination uh-huh. and was coming. Boom, 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 How the fu- boom. I thought we were talking about the Crow Trailer. We, we How were the talking fuck about did this the become crow. the Rock. You know, The Rock is referring to himself now as the final boss. <laughs> That's great. He's calling himself the final, the final boss. The most electrifying man in all of entertainment. You know what's, what's interesting about that final boss? Baby, 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 cry, baby, baby. Shut the fuck up. You've got to be fucking kidding me, Cody Rhodes. Here's the thing about a final boss. If he's calling himself that, he may be foreshadowing story here. Because the final boss gets beat. Well, I look, look, Chad, I know you want to talk about WrestleMania. We're on the road to WrestleMania. <laughs> I wanted to talk about the Crow's and Dudesy Mania. Sure. There's no one, there's no Crow Mania uh, happening. There's, it's happening right here but inside Chad, my brain, dude. Listen, it's Crow Mania 24 <laughs> 7. I'll tell you what, during Dudesy after Dudesy, I know you want to talk about it. We'll talk some more about The Rock and the ride Go that on. The Rock is yep. taking you on. Um, if you smell. What the rock mm-hmm. is cooking. When he says it all quiet, yeah. that's the best shit. When he does it all quiet like that. Back to the crow. I will say this about if the trailer. Insist. The thing that I liked the most about it was the level of violence. Because the comic was oh, yeah. also very violent. And you, there's some crazy violence in it. That said, it's not like... The thing that made the crow cool, at least in the comic, was like you didn't really fucking know what was going on. He would get shot. And then, like, you'd be like, oh, fuck, they shot the main character of this comic book. And then yeah. he's walking around in the next panel. And you're, yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. know if it's, like, is he a physically living person that just has, like, supernatural, like, Wolverine-style healing capabilities? Or is he, like, a ghost? Like, what the fuck is going on? You never knew. Yeah. And there were all these weird allusions to the spirit realm and seeing his dead wife's yeah, spirit yeah, yeah. and shit. Uh, this movie doesn't look like it has any of that to What me. are you talking about? It totally did. When I saw the trailer, which I have not seen again, so mm-hmm. don't take my word for it. In the trailer, he, he I think Bill Skarsgård, who is a professional actor by trade, that's what yeah. he does for a living. Sure. He does a very good job of like going like, oh, oh shit. Like when he get, I think he gets shot and he's going into it. He gets slammed. You know, he goes backwards into a bathtub mm-hmm. and he's like, oh fuck. He starts to realize. Like, yeah, he's realizing oh. his powers. Yeah. So it's got all the shit the same as The Crow. Look, The Crow was fucking 30 years ago. Mm. Uh and the rock was like close to 30 years ago. Everything old is new again. More right. crow, more rock. The rock would be a good crow. Oh my go- goodness. <laughs> well, now we're talking about, now you're going, you, you're That's, taking me right into. That'll happen, dude. We can make eventually a crow with the rock in it. Well, they had the DX tried to make fun of the nation of domination. Of course, sure. Triple H course. dressed up as the Croc. Of course, instead of the the Rock, it was the Croc. Yeah, but we could be the Row. I don't fucking know. Anyway, Crow's gonna happen. Thank you. Moving on. Yeah.